We do three different types of closed molding in this department, or we develop it, I should mm -hmm. say. Uh, we do compression molding, we do resin infusion, okay. and we also do some RTM, which okay. is resin transfer molding. Alrighty. And what I'm first going to show you is compression molding, how we actually get the finished surface on both sides of the part. Okay. It takes two molds. So what happens first is we develop the outer mold, and when we engineer what the thickness of the part is, we can buy different thicknesses of sheet wax, and that's what we form inside of this outer mold to create the actual part thickness. Uh -huh. So, now this looks like a swim uh, ladder hatch, is that correct? Yes, it is. It's a 350 on? swim ladder okay. lid. And so what happens is we put this sheet wax in here, which is actually creating what the part thickness is going to be, and then we lay up an inner mold, which is right here. This inner mold here has been pulled. Well, I can see that. This would actually fit right inside that. Exactly. With, with that constant gap that you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. And this is the part after it's been worked out. Wow. It's been wet sanded, buffed, and it, these two are ready to go for, to production. What a big difference. Well, I can see where the mold has transferred some imperfection in this surface, but you work all that out to yes. get that yes. extremely high quality finish, like, like you would in your hall molds and deck molds yes, and so forth. Yes, exactly. And then how we actually build the parts is this is a, a 350 uh, storage lid. At the back of the, back of the boat. Back of the boat. Mm -hmm. um, we gel coat each part, and then what we do is lay fiberglass in that actually forms to the shape. And at, at this point in time, we also load the outer mold with glass after it's been gel coated. So both parts are prepared at the same time equally in terms of the lamination? Yes. And then we introduce resin into the outer mold. Mm -hmm. And then Gibby, go ahead and show them what we do here. We'll take the uh, inner mold, place into the outer mold, and then we take a, a framed silicone bag that goes over top, and it actually seals off the perimeter around here. And then we pull a vacuum on this, and what it does is the silicone bag forces this inner mold down to a stop point, and what it does is distributes the resin throughout all the fiberglass layers, forces air out, gives you void-free part. Okay, so again, it's that, that resin to uh, glass ratio that's, that's consistent throughout the part? Yes, yes it is. And I would assume that translates into a stronger part and a uh, controlled weight part? Yes, oh, controlled thickness also. Absolutely, great. Right here's the finished part. This is the wow. 350 storage lid. That's beautiful, Jeff. After it's been pulled out of the mold and trimmed. Again, you know, I, it's probably a layman's term, but I call this finish both sides part. Yes. You know, because it is. You can't tell the difference. They're equal in terms Correct. of finish, luster. Correct. Uh, you have lack constant of thickness. Um, that is. Lightweight, uh, very repeatable part. Beautiful. All right, here's another compression part. This is the actual 350 chain lid. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and show them after. This is how you demold a part. Okay. I see the lip here that you have where that seal would sit into yes, uh, to yes. seal it off. And the outer part is where the vacuum is pulled that actually forces the, the bag down. And this is the finished part? This is the finished part. Go ahead and take it out. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Part's ready to go. Nice job. Great. Okay. Another system we use here is uh, resin infusion. I want to say, this this is the scariest part that I've seen. Yes. This looks like something out of Frankenstein's lab here with yes. all these tubes. Yeah. Um, we use this system to get um, real good glass to resin ratios. Mm -hmm. We use it on weight sensitive parts, uh, parts that have critical tolerances. Such we as? Use, we use this on the uh, 45 coupe uh, parts. The, like the sunroof uh, the, the and the cap. retractable mm -hmm. sunroof. This is the actual cap that goes that, over top of it. That's great news for somebody like myself, which, uh, you know, we're always concerned about uh, vertical CG, keeping the weight down the higher we are. Yes. So this benefits that, I would assume. Yes. This part here is gel coated first, and then we load uh, dry glass into it. Mm -hmm. You can also see we've got PVC coring mm -hmm. material in it. Um, 
We have actual two different types of coring in this part. What's this right here, this material uh, here? This is carbon fiber. Is it really? We use that over the front to hold the shape of the part okay. once it's mounted on the boat. Okay. This is a unidirectional carbon fiber. It's laid crossways, it holds the crown better than braces that we've, we've had in the past. So after this is all uh, assembled in here, we'll seal it off with a plastic bag mm -hmm. around the perimeter, and then we'll pull a vacuum check on it. Now this looks like it has been vacuumed down. Yes, this part is done, it's complete, it's vacuumed down. Well, this is ready to, what, strip off? It's and, ready to demold, mm -hmm. yes. We, after we load the mold here, um, we pull a vacuum check, and then we uh, inject the resin through numerous different ports here. And what it does is vacuum pulls the resin throughout the laminate evenly in, through each of these. These tubes here, Jeff? Yes, yes. Vacuum is pulling the resin outward to the outer perimeter. So I would, see, I would see resins going in and resin going out? Yes, but again, it's a predetermined amount of resin. We know how much this takes. So there's very little resin that comes back out. But I would assume when it does come out, that means you have you have totally exactly. uh, occupied the area that you want resin exactly. to be there. Yes. Excellent Correct. control. Yes. Great. Good stuff. Another system we use here is called RTM, which is resin transfer molding. And by the way, when we were talking about the 310 head door outside, I made reference to that part was a great candidate for that process because yes. of its finish both sides and uh, the tolerances and so forth that you require for a part like that. Yes, it is. This here is a 240 head door. Same thing. Same thing, yeah. And um, basically what we have is resin injected, pulled through the part, through the dry fibers, similar to the other techniques. And uh, once it fills, we know resin is coming out the exit hole there. We know we've filled our part. Mm -hmm. um, why don't we go ahead and take this off and show them a door that's in that's there. That's a serious looking mold, Jeff. Yes, I mean, it is. A... has to do with seals. Really? Okay. But again, vacuum is pulled all along here that forces this mold down to specific stop points. Okay, so these are like registration points. Exactly. Keep everything so you know exactly mm -hmm. what your thickness you're getting. Wow. And there you have a 240 head door. Finished, ready to go. Finished, ready to go. Excellent. Yes, it is. Here's another part. This is a 370 trunk lid. This shows the bottom side of the top mold. These are your seals. The seals. This is where the vacuum comes through. Mm -hmm. It forces this down to the stop point. Same thing. Here's your stop points. And again, same theory. Injecting resin, pulling it through the fibers, forces out the air, it consolidates all your layers and gives you void-free parts. Great. So I know you've been talking Good about show. the 310 head uh -huh. door. We have. we have some over here. Yeah, well, this is the finished part right here. This is the finished part. This has been one of the most difficult parts to uh, uh, try to work on. Well, it's those crazy designers that have to come up with all these. It's the crazy shapes. designers. Exactly. Yes, it is. Exactly. Jeff, it's beautiful. I mean, look at the inside detailing here to conform to what we're doing out here. I notice there's no trim. You can't even see where the seam would be. This is beautiful. Nicely done.